Hello, welcome back to another box opening video. Today we're we'll going to be doing uh, Panini Donruss Optic Football 2022 Blaster Boxes. We're going to do two of these bad boys. Uh, I know I'm probably a little bit late to the party, but uh, eh, you can't find them, you can't find them. So uh, we're going to go there. So we got uh, Purple Shock Rookies, Blaster Exclusive Blue Hyper Mem Cards, obviously Downtowns. Uh, there's everything you can get there. So, you know, I think there's a couple numbered options. 10 to 1, I believe. Number to 150. So a couple couple things. Uh, what is this one? 200 card base set. So 100 base, 100 rookies, I believe. So not too bad. Uh, again, these are, you know, probably at least 30 bucks US. I know they're 49 and change Canadian. Um, if you can find them uh buy them obviously just because it's optic right so it's going to hold the value even if you don't open it um but uh i went to you know two or three walmarts in the last couple days here and i'm not gonna lie to you there was nothing else on the shelf but hockey and these blaster boxes which i thought was kind of weird so it's almost like the mj Gut holdings guy just came put out maybe like a case or two of optic football and then just bounce because everything else looked the same as it's been for like the last two to three weeks so um you know, a lot of hockey up here, up, up north here. So um, it is what it is. So yeah, let's get started. Why not? So again, you're going to be after the usual, the usual rookie suspects from this class: Pickett, uh, Garrett Wilson, Herds. You know, the usual suspects, as I like to say. Any thick boys in here? No, didn't think so. All right. Let's see what Optic has to offer this year. Again, it's going to look exactly the same as Donruss, just with a chrome finish, right? And then the Optic logo in the corner. So it looks like we got our first Purple Shock here. So Ramsey, Tunsil, and our Purple Shock rated rookie is Romeo Dobbs, which isn't too shabby. And our other rookie is Kobe Bryant. So that was all right. Nice. Purple Shock Optic Rookie. You know, I think you get maybe three or two per pat per thing. Maybe I don't even know, to be honest with you. Three? Yeah, three or something like that. Eckler, Russell Wilson, Roger McCreary as our Optic Purple Shock, and Jameson Williams for the Lions. Okay. Flying through this. Silver here, Damian Harris, Patrick Sertan, and Kelsey on the legendary logos. And our rookie is Devin Lloyd. Again, not numbered or anything like that, but a nice, you know, a nice prism hit, so to speak, or hollow or holo or silver, however you, however you want to describe optic. Silver in here, okay. Justin Jefferson, Josh Allen, and a rated rookie Tyquan Thornton, and a Traylon Burks regular. So there's our silver there. Two more packs left of the first blaster. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy to say the least. I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I wasn't really expecting much. Um, everybody says this product is absolutely loaded this year, but. I'm not going to lie to you. I would have to differ. Uh, the Rookies on Bailey Zappi. That's a nice one to get. And a Purple Shock Rookie. Our third one is Algier. And our regular rookie is Sam Williams. So, okay. So far, I would say this is probably your average box, if not a little bit below. Last silver here. Gates. Gonzalez with an ugly print line going down the center. Laramie Tunsil as our silver. And Jermaine Johnson the second as our rook. So first blaster, nothing, nothing, nothing good, unfortunately. So uh, let's get into the next one. Hopefully we have a little bit better luck. Everybody on YouTube saying these, these products are loaded. These things are loaded. Some of the videos the guys just get like base packs the entire time so i don't know how a product could be loaded when there's you're still getting base packs but all righty let's get into it pack one of the second blaster 
Oh, looks like we got some kind of weird insert there with the on the outside here. Mike Evans. I forget what they call this one actually. Huh, nice looking card though. Martin Emerson is our shock and Damian Pierce is our regular rookie there. Okay, keep on trucking. here oh nice insert powered amari cooper Najee harris my house on the silver and a kenny p on the back so the Najee's nice looking kenny p is obviously a good one to get obviously if you're not going to get purdy you he's a nice close second i feel like garrett wilson Brees hall um you know the usual suspects. So we got a silver here, Dickerson, Baker, Garrett Wilson, silver. I will take that. And Johan Dotson on the regular rated rookie there. So this blaster is already crushing the other one, if you ask me, just by names alone. So what we got here? Another weird insert here. Stafford. Ooh, light it up, Garrett Wilson. Is that? Oh no, it's Blazers. Sorry, yeah. Uh, Blazers are the uh, with the downtown, I believe, are the case hit. But the lighted ups are nice looking. I'll tell you that much. That's a nice looking card. I dig it. And our purple shock is Kate Otten, and our regular rookie is Fedarian Mathis. Okay. So, this blaster, so far so good. Maybe just like a purdy and uh, call, call this blaster a day here because it's so far so good here. I don't think I've pulled one purdy card yet this year in all the products I've opened, which is a little ridiculous. What do we got in here? Another Purple Shock, our last one, I believe. Keenan Allen, John Elway, Kenneth Walker III, and Tyron Davis Price. Wrong 49er. Okay, let's coming down to it now. Wow, these packs open very poorly. Wow, okay, fair enough. What do we got going on here? Silver, Waller, Singletary, Sertan the third. I always get him no matter what. And Kevin Harris as the rook. So, second blaster, a lot better than the first, to say the least. Um, I wouldn't really say these products are loaded. Uh, again, like you're going to get three Purple Shock rookies. So again, the chance is there to get one of the top five names. So, you know, you hit one of those on a Purple Shock or Silver. And, you know, I get it. You can almost say that maybe the Silver almost pays for the box, depending on who it is. Like if you got a Purdy, you know, or a Pickett Silver, I would say those probably go for, you know, at least 30, 40 bucks Canadian. So, you know, 25 bucks American, 20 bucks American. So, um, uh, don't believe the hype, you know what I mean? It's the same set as Donruss, just an optic finish and less cards. You know what I mean? So um, they get you every year. It is opt optic is probably like my one of my favorite sets besides like maybe like I, I dig select as well, especially through football. I'm not much of a mosaic or a prism guy, to be frank. Um, but, you know, for the price, it just seems like everything's getting a little little higher, higher print run, less hits. So it looks like we're kind of going in the backwards direction. Um, maybe all this fanatics taking over the world kind of stuff will sort this kind of stuff out in the next couple months to a year or two years. But uh, yeah, you know, buyer beware, I would say, you know, at Canadian, you know, you're spending 56 bucks on this little box of 24 cards. You know, if you get a, uh, like the first box I got, like, you know, that's barely like $10 back in cards, give or take. Um, Thank God for the rated rookie purple shocks or we'd be in trouble. You know, I, I do like the idea of getting at least two silvers um, per box, which is kind of nice. Um, and then a lot of the inserts seem to be um, silvers or holos as well. So that's nice for a change. Um, a little bit different in the basketball, I'll tell you, because a lot of those inserts are just regular inserts and then they come with the silvers sometimes. But from what I've seen from Optic, it seems like a lot of silver inserts in these boxes. So um, not too bad. You know, if you can find it, rip it. If not, 
save, hold, wait till the price comes down a little bit, group some together on eBay, make a nice little package deal and maybe try to get them for like 40 bucks Canadian. I, I feel like that's pretty reasonable. Uh, I have been trying to do that for quite a while on eBay with no luck, but you know, one of these days, somebody's going to want to sell some of this stuff because you can't have, you know, cases of blasters just sitting around. So uh, other than that, yeah, thanks for listening to the old rant and have a good day.